Hi, Cubbies! Hi, Cubbies! Hi, Cubbies! How are you? Have you had a great week? Oh, I miss seeing my Cubby friends so much! Let's get started with our Cubby motto. Do you remember Cubby's motto? Jesus loves me. Jesus just loves me. Jesus loves me. That's right! Yay! Can you say Cubby's key verse? First John 4.10 First John 4.10 God loves us. First John 4, 10. God loves us and sent his son. Awesome job, Cubbies. Wow. I'm so excited to hear what the lesson for today is. Let's listen. Hi, Cubbies. Today is a special lesson because this week is Holy Week. Do you know what that is? It is the week of Jesus's suffering and his death on the cross and his resurrection on Easter Sunday. So it is especially important for us as Christians and as disciples of Jesus. Do you remember we learned that last week, Cubbies, that we are all said, I want to be a disciple of Jesus? Because our whole faith is based on this gospel. Um, let me put it this way. So how many of our cubbies like Christmas? <gasps> you guys all like Christmas, right? I love Christmas. Christmas is about Jesus' birth. And it's about so many different um, traditions and celebrating and presents. But... Do you know what day is even more important than Christmas? That's right, it's Easter. Easter is so important because that is when Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He died on the cross, but Jesus also rose again. He, he didn't just die on the cross, the end, but he rose again. And by rising again, he defeated sin and he defeated death. Bam, bam. And because Jesus is stronger and he's more mighty, and he defeated Satan, who could not keep him in the grave, and he rose again, showing the power of God, and that God is mightier than even death. And that if we believe in him, then we can do the same thing too. Isn't that amazing? Can all my cubbies show me your powerful muscles? Can you show me your muscles? Mm -hmm. Wow, look at your muscles. I know we're all so strong, but God is so much bigger and so much stronger and so much mightier. And he can defeat anyone. And he can overcome everything. That's what's so amazing about Easter. Is that God showed that he is the most powerful. And that he is the most mighty. Because he even conquered death. So if you remember our two cubby letters we've been talking about. A for all. Because all have sinned. And then this letter, that's right, C for Christ, because Christ died for us. So we have our two Cubbies letters, and these help explain why Jesus died for us and why that's important. Because all have sinned, Christ died for us. And Jesus was buried in a tomb. But 
it didn't end there. After three days, Jesus rose again. Can you show me the number three cubbies? Let's count together. One, two, three. That's right. After three whole days, Jesus was in the tomb, but then he rose again from the dead. He, he is alive. Wow! Hallelujah! Can you guys all rejoice with me together? Yay! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Jesus is alive! So after Jesus' death on the cross, the people who loved and followed Jesus were so sad. Mary was so sad after Jesus died on the cross. And she cried and cried because she missed Jesus and wanted to see him so much. So Mary went to the tomb in order to anoint Jesus' body with spices. But when she got there, the stone that had been guarding the tomb had been rolled away. Mary was so surprised and shocked. Mary was crying outside the tomb of Jesus. There was a violent earthquake. And suddenly, an angel appeared. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. She and the other woman ran away to tell the other disciples. And then Jesus appeared to Mary, but Mary didn't recognize it was Jesus at first. Jesus asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Mary asked, Are you seeing Jesus? Jesus said, Mary. <gasps> Suddenly, Mary realized it was Jesus, and she said, Rabboni, Jesus is alive. Mary and the women and the other disciples rejoiced at the risen Jesus. Jesus is alive! He's alive! Yay! Yay! our memory seed for this week together. 1 Corinthians 15, 4. He was raised on the third day. Let's praise Jesus who died for our sins and was raised from the dead. Let's celebrate this Easter Sunday with our family and thank Jesus who died for my sins and rose again from the dead so that we can also defeat sin and rise like Jesus. Amen. Can you all say amen with me together? Amen. Let's say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's say he is risen. Ready? He is risen! Amen! Okay, cubbies, let's close with prayer. Make sure you repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you 
for dying on the cross and rising from the dead. Jesus, thank you for this holy week. We pray that we may celebrate your victory over death. And we believe in you so we can have victory too. We love you and we thank you. I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Ah, happy Easter Cubbies. God bless you as you celebrate with your family and think about and meditate on um, Jesus this Sunday. We love you and we miss you and hope to see you soon. See you next week. Bye. Jesus Christ.